天使哥，哇！
Christmas dinner. Not allowed to get to eat your apple, Tim. But why do I only get an apple? Tim, you know you have a serious health problem. We can't afford the money for your aftercare after the operation. So the least you could do is try not to eat as much. Have an orange. I spoke to someone in very important who uh, is employing children under 10 to deliver his letters. Really? Who? Scrooge's nephew. Of course, my nephew. Always employing youngsters to do his dirty work. Isn't that what Bob Pratchett does for you? Let us say grace. Lord, we ask that you bless this food in front of us and may it taste as delicious as it looks. Amen. 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 What was that? Nothing. Lovely food. It's a very small Christmas dinner. It's all they can afford. Will he live? That's up to you, Ebony. If you don't change your ways, the be I mean, child will die. What? You don't realise the consequences to your actions. There are other people in this world other than you, Ebony. I'd like to make a toast to Miss Emily Scrooge, who funded this great meal. She may have funded this meal, but if she came in here right now, I'd give her a piece of my mind. That severe, odious, malevolent... Whip. It's Christmas! Have a little good-heartedness. Right. Miss Ebony Scrooge. Ebony Scrooge. Here, here. Well, all right. There would be no Christmas dinner without me. Is that all you've learnt? Come with me. There's more to say. What are they doing outside? They're outside because they have nowhere else to go. They're cold and hungry. But what's that got to do with me? These represent the people you've always deserted in your life, Ebony. You may look away, but they're still there. It is time for me to leave you. Well, okay. Take me home, Spirit. No. What? Uh, oh, you can't leave me here. It's like a train. Spirit! Okay, yes. Maybe I have made mistakes. Just a few. Here and there. Said things. I didn't mean too quickly. Have pity on me. Please. What have I done to be rejected like this? Are you, are you the spirit that Jane Marley told me about just a few hours ago? I am. And you're about to show me the things that are to come if I don't change my ways. I am. Lead on. She's dead? Really? Yeah. Is she going to leave on the money too? <laughs> Come for you, but if she's got someone else. <laughs> no, that is, that is true. I heard there's a meal in her memory. Really? Mm, I suppose I'll go, but only because there's free food. I mean, yeah. why else would I want to go, really? <laughs> Have there no respect for that woman? I demand to see someone who cares for that unfortunate end. Turn around. Yes, I heard. Apparently she died. Do you want to go rob her house later? She should have some money stashed up there. I was brought here earlier by one of your friends. Events may have changed though. Hello. You know me that way from usual. Yeah, well, I, I went to see him, yeah. I, I, I promised him we'd all go to, together as a family on, on Sunday. You shouldn't worry, Bob. If, if as long as we love each other, then he's always lying in us. 
rest for love and tenderness. Take me home. I've seen enough. There is one more thing I must A show graveyard? You. Why? Tell me, Spirit, who were they so pleased to see die? Who were they disrespecting? Who were they joking about? Come, here on the stone lies your answer. Tell me, what was that death? What will be? Or what may be? Look at the stone. Look at the stone. I may not have been the person that I should have been. But listen to me when I say that I'm a changed woman. Why show me this if I'm beyond all hope? Say that I may change these events by an altered life. I will on a Christmas. In my heart, I will not shut out the lessons I have learned. Tell me. Tell me that I can clean this stone and banish those words. with Bob and his family, was like a second mother to his children, and best of all, she knew better than anyone how to keep the Christmas spirit alive. Merry Christmas, everyone. Call this number today, 